Welcome to our latest episode, How High Net Worth Individuals Are Redefining Safety as a Luxury. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about how safety has become a luxury that increasingly can only be afforded by the wealthy. And in all fairness, in many ways, they're the ones that need it the most since they're often targets of robberies and jealousy. Welcome to the Wealth Uncensored Podcast, straight talk about everything that impacts your wealth. In each episode, I share what I've learned through my own experience and two decades of helping high net worth clients structure their affairs to minimize taxes and protect their assets for the next generation. I'll also feature special guests who are experts in their own field, sharing their knowledge and experience to help you protect what's yours. I'm your host, Jimmy Sexton. Let's dive into today's show. Now, I'm just not talking about personal safety, but also wealth security. I've been living in Dubai for going on eight years now, and I never really appreciated the safety it offers until recently. Yeah, I knew it was safe and appreciated that, but didn't really realize how valuable that was until my girlfriend and I got robbed in Europe last year. Luckily, no one was hurt, but we lost an iPhone and an expensive watch. Now, my girlfriend and I not only don't wear expensive jewelry, watches, or clothes in Europe, we're always on the lookout for danger when we're there and walking through the city. And our situation is unique. I have many friends who have had watches and jewelry stolen in high-end vacation spots and in what used to be safe cities. Most of my friends in Europe now, they don't even wear nice watches or jewelry anymore. It's all in a safe where they can't even enjoy it. That's sad. Most now wear Apple watches or some other digital watch. And many wealthy people I know even stop driving nice cars because they don't wanna draw attention to themselves. And others still have nice cars, but also normal cars and choose which to drive depending on where they're going. In some European countries, if you drive a nicer car than your neighbor, for example, you run the risk that your neighbor will report you to the tax authorities and tell them that they should investigate you because you're probably evading taxes, even if you aren't. Their logic is you live in the same place they do, they can't afford the car that you have, so you must be doing something shady to be able to afford it. And the risk arises not only with cars, but with jewelry, nice clothes, and, you know, other displays of wealth. And in the U.S., the situation's even worse with home invasions and easy access to guns. Don't get me wrong. I'm all for the Second Amendment. But the fact remains, it's easier to get guns in the U.S. than anywhere else. And gun laws won't solve this problem because criminals don't care how they get their guns. They don't mind breaking laws. This summer, you even saw private jets being vandalized. Crimes against the wealthy are on the rise. It's a shame that so many people who have worked so hard to attain the lifestyle they always wanted can't enjoy it because the country where they live and pay the majority of the taxes can't protect them or won't protect them. It's absolutely despicable that those taxpayers who make a country financially viable can't count on that country for their personal safety. As such, safety's become a luxury for high net worth individuals and it's highly sought after by them. While the tax climate in Dubai is obviously a big draw for high net worth individuals, Safety is also at the top of the list of reasons why they move here. Almost every person I know that lives in Dubai lists safety as one of the top reasons why they live here. And almost every person I know that moves here lists safety as one of the top reasons for moving here. High net worth individuals want to enjoy the lifestyle they've earned and worked so hard for and ensure the safety of themselves and their family. They don't want to worry about their kids going somewhere or playing outside or whether their wife's going to get robbed for wearing a nice watch or having a nice purse or having their nice car key. In Dubai, they can live how they want and feel safe doing so. That is a luxury and a highly sought after one. It's funny because many of us that live here in Dubai migrate to Europe over the summer. Now, when you see your friends in Dubai, they're living in luxury apartments or villas, they're driving Lamborghinis, Ferraris, Aston Martins, cars like that, wearing nice watches, jewelry, designer clothes. They're living it up. When you meet them in Europe, they still live in nice places, but they drive average cars, don't wear nice watches or jewelry, and dress modestly. Hell, some look damn near homeless. I recently went on a trip in Europe with a friend of mine, and I remember we were walking through the airport, and I looked at him and thought to myself, no one would ever guess this dude is rich. When he's in Dubai, the situation's completely different. Countries offering safety to high net worth individuals and their families will fare well in the future. More and more high net worth individuals are getting fed up with being targets and having themselves and their families in constant danger. I never would have thought that safety would one day be considered a luxury, but here we are. I truly value the safety that Dubai offers and I'm grateful to be able to afford it, as are the others that live here. The troves of high net worth individuals moving here for that safety 
is proof of how important safety is. There's a reason Dubai is booming and Europe and the US are flailing. They know what people want and are catering to it. I just don't understand how other countries and governments think. Just to recap, safety has unfortunately become a luxury in these tumultuous times. Those places that offer it will do well at attracting high net worth individuals, their wealth, and their businesses. I hope you found this episode useful. Thank you for joining me on Wealth Uncensored, where we help you minimize taxes and protect your wealth for the next generation. If you like our show, be sure to subscribe and leave a review. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes, we'd love to hear from you. You can email us at info at esquiregroup.com. And don't forget to visit Esquire Group's website for more information on how we can help you secure your wealth. I'll be dropping knowledge again next week. Don't forget to join us.